In this video, we are going to see the next operation on matrix which is called as subtraction operation. We have already seen what is addition operation of matrices and we already have seen the numerical problem also. In this video, we are going to cover the next topic which is subtraction of matrices. Just like addition, here also one condition is very necessary that the two matrices given to me should be of the same order that means the rows of the respective matrices should be equal, the columns should be equal. If still not understood, let's see the theoretical definition and the approach to the same. So, subtraction of matrices. For two matrices A and B, if I have two matrices A and B of the same order, this is very necessary, the order must be same. A minus B is what? That means the first matrix minus the second matrix. So, subtraction operation can be treated as addition 2. In what manner? The first matrix added with the second matrix but the second matrix is negative in nature. So, even that means the same. And it is termed as the subtraction of matrix B from A. You remember in the junior classes we used to do the questions like subtract 10 from 30. So it was subtract 10 from 30 means you are going to write 30 minus 10. So after from we have matrix A. So matrix A will come first and then will come matrix B. Suppose I have A matrix as Aij and its order is M by N. The B matrix given to me is also having the same order M by N. And I want to compute what is the result of the subtraction operation. That means what is A minus B. So A minus B means what? The similar operation that we did as in the case of addition. That time we had Aij plus Bij. This time we will be having Aij minus Bij. And here I can write Aib Ij because we are going to treat and put the values of i and j one by one. Let's see one example. An example to the same would be a matrix A given to me as 0, 5. Another matrix B given to me as say minus 1, minus 4. Now the question tells me to find out A minus B. And also another part is given to me to find out B minus A. Now let's see the first part first. I have A minus B to be computed. I know that A is given to me as a matrix wherein I have one row and two columns. Again talking about the matrix B, I have one row and two columns. So it is one by two matrix. When I am supposed to find out the first answer that is A minus B, what I will be doing is, I will be actually subtracting each element at the respective position. First I will be writing A then B. Let's see how to write it down. I write the first element 0 minus the second element. So minus the second element that means the first element of the second matrix. Again the next element you take up it is 5 minus this element which is minus 4 because we are doing a minus b so i have to write the elements of a first then of b first now let's compute the answer 0 minus minus 1 that means 0 plus 1 which is 1 and here it is 5 minus minus 4 which is 5 plus 4 which is 9 so it is 1 and 9 so the answer is nothing but 1 and 9 which is what type of a matrix which is the same order matrix having one row two columns as the individual matrices. What would be the difference in the second answer? Few people might think that A minus B is same as B minus A but B minus A is completely different. Why and how? Let's see. I know the result of A minus B this is computed. For B minus A we will have to do something different. That means we will write first the B matrix and then we will write A matrix. So first write B matrix because it is B minus A. Writing B, the first element is minus 1, 
b minus a minus of 0 so it is minus of 0 b minus a what about the next element the next element here in minus a that means I have to write first b that is minus 4 minus 5 so it is minus 4 minus 5 so what is the answer minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1 only minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 so it is minus 1 minus 9 that we obtain as the answer here it was 1 and 9 here it is minus 1 minus 9 so you, do you see the difference the difference is very simple that if you find a minus b and then you see that b minus a is what it is just the negative so this is also a property which will be taking up later on but yes in this question we observed it there and then the order of the resultant matrix is what it is same as the order of the individual matrices so one row two columns one more thing to note suppose the matrix a is given to me as a 2 by 2 matrix and matrix b also 2 by 2 then yes we can add we can subtract but if the orders are different then no addition is possible in the case of matrices and no subtraction as well